With fantasy football drafts and the NFL season right around the corner, I wanted to throw it back to the year of 2002 and do a fantasy football retrospective on perhaps the best division of fantasy football running backs ever. Each back in the AFC West division was a top 10 overall fantasy player on the season. And for this to all be in one division is just plain unheard of. Let's start with the young buck of this group, Clinton Portis. Well before he became Southeast Jerome, he had arguably the best rookie season ever by a Denver Broncos running back, rushing for 1,508 yards, 15 touchdowns, and catching 33 passes for 364 yards and adding two more touchdowns through the air. He finished as the fourth highest scorer in fantasy points this season. And while he actually didn't receive a Pro Bowl invite, he did win Offensive Rookie of the Year and would go on to have even more rushing yards the following year. LaDainian Tomlinson was truly one of the few saving graces on the 2002 Chargers offense, single-handedly winning them games and getting the Chargers to an even 8-8 eight eight record. He rushed for 1,683 yards, 14 touchdowns, and caught 79 passes for 489 yards and an additional touchdown. He finished third overall in fantasy scoring this season, and even more impressive is that he would also go on to best these numbers in future seasons, eventually setting the NFL total touchdown record in 2006 with 31 total touchdowns. Priest Holmes scored so many touchdowns throughout the early 2000s and perhaps had the best three-year stint ever by a running back in terms of fantasy points and overall offensive production. He made it look easy on a dominant Chiefs offense. In 2002, he rushed for 1,615 yards, 21 touchdowns, and caught 70 passes for 672 yards and three receiving touchdowns. And mind you, this was only in 14 games. He was the number one fantasy scorer across the board and was named Offensive Player of the Year as well as a first-team All-Pro. The next season, he broke the rushing touchdown record scoring 27 rushing touchdowns, but was then bested a few years later by LaDainian Tomlinson, as I mentioned. Finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the less noted but elite pass catching back, Charlie Garner, who had one hell of a year in terms of total yards, being a key component on the Raiders Super Bowl team. He almost joined the double 1,000 yard club, but just missed it as he ran for 962 yards, seven touchdowns, and caught a whopping 91 passes for 941 yards and four receiving touchdowns. He finished ninth overall in fantasy scoring this year, and certainly will go down as one of the more underrated weapons of that Raiders offense. These dudes were so fun to watch and bring back so many fond memories of when I first started to understand and love the game of football. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe to Nickel City Mafia. And as always, thanks for watching.